This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scotterly. As part of its annual summer program, officials from the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture are looking to stimulate passion and provide a skill set in the participating students. In fact, this year they will be offering a business camp at the Uriah McPhee Primary School, designed for youngsters who would like to be entrepreneurs. Senior Youth Officer Monique Wilschkum explains. It's called Corp Kids, and what we did was one of our youth organizations, uh, JA, in conjunction with our CARICOM program, CIVO, they got together and they produced a curriculum that we are really excited about. So we are looking forward to see what products that uh, our, uh, young, our young entrepreneurs will be able to deliver. In other business news, the board of directors of RBC Finco is announcing the appointment of Robert Pantry as managing director. Pantry is a 14-year banker with extensive operations and sales experience within the RBC Royal Bank Network. He has a well-rounded lending background with a solid foundation in financial analysis and general business knowledge. In international news, U.S. car giant General Motors has said it will not limit the amount of money it will pay to those injured as a result of faulty ignition switches in GM cars. According to reports, at least 13 people died as a result of the faulty parts. GM has been severely criticized for its failure to issue a recall for vehicles affected by the ignition switch defect. Although problems with the part came to light nearly 10 years ago, the car maker did not formally recall 2.6 million vehicles until February. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly.